How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in about versus Cody in the UU tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And if you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, then make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with their Rotom, which is fine. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. We lead off with Mamoswine, which is not the... Not the best matchup against the Rotom, but the point of this Ramsvine lead is to get the Stealth Rocks up because why not? They haven't got a Rapid Spinner as far as I can tell. Cody never brings a Rapid Spinner or a Defogger, which is interesting. So uh, let's go for a Stealth Rock right away. They, we do outspeed them, so they are a defensive Rotom, which is good to know. Unless we actually na naturally outspeed them, I don't know. Um, and they're going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, which is fine. Breaks our Sash, but it's fine. Mamoswine, like, lives to see another day. So we can fodder it off later if we need to against something else. So they probably go for a Hydro Pump now, if I had to guess, just to get some damage off on us. They may also go for a Volt Switch. Um, I think either way, my best bet is to go into the Slow King. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Then we'll Chili Reception out into whatever we need to go into. So Slow Queen comes on in. There we go, which is great. Just great. They go for a Discharge, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. And um, that's fine. Slow King can take those all day, every single day, because it's such a special defensive monster. Um, so let's go for a Chili Reception real quick, just to get on out of there. Um, they do go for another Discharge, they're just trying to whittle away at the Slow King, which is fine. But like I said, we're going to Chili Badger, we're going to get that rege in a regeneration, and then we're going to switch out into something to take care of this Rotom. And uh, what do we have to take care of the Rotom? That's the real question. Um, I would say our best bet would have to be... Oh, so we're in this stadium again. I've been in this stadium like three times in a row. I'd say our best bet for this Rotom would probably be Terra Blast Fire, the no, Terra Blast Grass Pyro, or Tito. Why does my Tito have Stone Edge with loaded dice? I was meant to put Rock Blast on there. <laughs> oh dear. So I think maybe I'll go Zoroark here, which is going to be disguised as Tito. So they're going to try and burn it, which is great. Um, so now we can go for a Night Days, and we don't have to worry about anything else. So let's go for a Night Days real quick. There we go. Night Days comes through. Oh, it's not, a, it's not a 2 it here, which is unfortunate. They go for a Will-O-Wisp, though, which Zoroark doesn't really care too much about. The chip damage is going to be a bit annoying um, from the, the burn and the life orb, but it's like, as long as we get some damage off on this Rotom, I'm not really too fussed. They probably have to go for a Discharge or a Hydro Pump here. Um, knowing that, I think I switch out again. I think I go for another Night Days. I just go, I want to get rid of this Rotom. And to be honest with you, Zoroark ain't doing too much this game. Anyway, they got a Flamigo and an Infernape. And a Hisuian Gudra. They are going to bring the Gudra in. Speaking of which, nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, so point stones do dig in. We're going to go for that Night Days real quick. It should, might lower their accuracy. You never know. It does lower their accuracy. We got a bit lucky there. We do lose some health. And we do lose some burn health as well. So the, the burn and the life orb health is, is racking up. It's racking up. So let's go for a U-turn here. Because this thing's probably going to be gooey anyway. So we'll lower our speed, but at the same time, it doesn't matter if we're switching out. So we go for a U-turn like so. Get on out of there. And um, we lose some HP, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. We can go into something more suitable to take care of this Gudra. Now, what can we switch into here? What are they going to do? That's the real question. Um, I would say maybe we could go Mamoswine. I think I will go Mamoswine because at the end of the day, if they go for a Body Press or a, a Draco and it KOs us, it's fine. Mamoswine was burned anyway, or a Flash Cannon either way. That's going to take us down 6 HP, and then the burn is going to finish us off. So Mamoswine going down there is fine because it was burned. It was pretty useless. Um, the Ice Shot might have come in clutch against the Flamigo, but not really because it was burned. Like I said, it's not going to do much damage. So now we can go into Hitmon Top, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hitmon Top can come in. We've got old Beyblade over here. And looking at their team, I would say their best bet is to go either Flamigo or Azelf. I would say or the Comfy. They have got switch-ins, but chip damage is tip chip damage at the end of the day. So let's go for a close combat. They might stay in. They might stay in. So they do withdraw the Gudra. 
They have got switch in, so they may as well switch. And um, they're going to go what? Convey. I thought they would give Convey because it resists um, other things as well. So it's nice and shiny as well. Got to love it. Get some stones damage. And then we're going to get a nice and powerful close combat off on it in its face. Um, so now they're probably going to go for a Draining Kiss. If I had to guess, now that our defenses are lowered, they're going to try the Draining Kiss. That, uh, well, the Draining Kiss would actually do a lot of damage to my hit on top. So that makes sense. And um, they could also go for Strength Sap. It does Convey get Strength Sap? Priority Strength Sap would be pretty broken. It would be pretty broken. So I think we go into our fire type, our pyro. I think that is the way to go. That is the way. That is the way. So that is what we're going to do. Into Nala real quick. So based on the night days damage we did earlier to the uh, Hisuian Gudra, pyro could be really good here. They go for a calm mind, which is terrifying. <laughs> that is terrifying. Calm mind is terrifying from a calm vein. Um, I'm going to have to go for my hyper voice, I think. I think because they're probably physically defensive with Calm Mind. So I think we go for the Hyper Voice here, get the Throat Spray boost. I think that's the way to go. As it does no damage. But we do get that Throat Spray, which is great. And that's going to boost our special attack sky high levels. And then they go for a what exactly? Another Calm Mind. So unfortunate that we're letting them set up like this. But it is what it is <laughs> at the end of the day. It is what it is. Uh, so let's go for a fire blast this next turn. They go for a synthesis, which is going to be a priority because of the triage. Um, so that's going to heal them right back up to full. But if we can get a crit with a fire blast, well, like we are going to do here. No, no, we're not. No, we're never not. I was trying to be clever and call it because there's always hacks against Cody. There's always some sort of hacks. Um, so that's that's a thing. So um, do we go for the fire blast spam or do we go for a hyper voice spam? I think they're going to try and st PP stall our synthesis. So with synthesis, so I'm going to go for that hyper voice first. They are going to terror. What type are they going to terror into, though? That's the real question. Terror fire, maybe? If they go terror fire, we may have made the right choice going for hyper voice. Terror water. So we made the right choice going for terror for, for hyper voice right here, which is great. Just great. Just fantastic. We go for that hyper voice like so. Does a decent bit of damage as they go for a terror blast at plus two. That's going to KO Pyro, no doubt. Yup, Pyro goes down, but we did weaken it. And looking at their team, we can still pull this back with something like Tyranitar. Uh, Tyranitar actually really can pull this back if we can get up a uh, Dragon. So they've got Terror Blast, Calm Mind, Synthesis, and probably Draining Kiss. Good to know, good to know. So now, what do we do? I'd say T-Tar is our best option, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go T-Tar. Get the Sand Stream up, boosting our special defense, which is nice. And then I'm going to Terra Ghost. And I'm going to Dragon Dance. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for a Stone Edge because um, they're just going to get super effective damage on us with that. Which is unfortunate. But Stone Edge should still do a lot of damage. There we go. Stone Edge should do a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. That's, that's more than they can recover. In fact, Knock Off. We haven't, we haven't knocked off their item yet. Whatever it is. It's Leftovers. So we haven't knocked off their Leftovers yet. So we could Knock Off right now. We could definitely Knock Off right now. I'm worried about Terroring. I want to save it for like the Infinape and the Flamigo first. Bait him into going for close combat. So they go for another Draining Kiss, which is fine. We're going to live that. They do get some health recovery, which is unfortunate for us. But after a knockoff, I think I think the Sandstorm takes them out. Yeah, it does. They knocked off the leftovers. Sandstorm takes them out, which is great. There we go. So Comfy goes down. So we got Fret Averted. Panic Averted. This Comfy was a threat. This Comfy was a threat, I'm telling you now. An absolute threat. Now they're going to send out a Zelf. Um, a Zelf is a pretty interesting one. So, what do we do here? Do we stay in or do we switch out? I'm leaning towards switching out into the Sloking. I think I will go with a Sloking play. I think Sloking is a good play. Um, because they might go for a U-turn, which would do super effective damage. But they might go for like a uh, Aura Sphere. I think it's Aura Sphere or is it um, Dazzling Green? That's the one. Which we eat up, no problem. We eat that up, no problem. So they're going to get buffed by the Sandstorm as do we. Chip on the Azelf is going to be useful. And now looking at the team, I would say the best thing we can do is go for a Chili Reception here. To get our health back up from the Regenerator. So that's what I'm going to do. It also resets the weather as well. So when Tyranitar comes in, the Sandstorm will be there more longer. But they go for that Shadow Ball, which is going to sting quite a bit. But we do tell a chillingly bad joke here. As there we go. 
Now, we could go into Zoroark, but Zoroark does not outspeed in his elf, unfortunately. So our best bet is probably going to be hit him on top. So I'm going to go into hit him on top. And the reason I say my best bet is hit him on top is because they're definitely going to stay in and go for a psychic or something. We get the intimidate off, which doesn't matter. But we go for a sucker punch here. Can we terror steal? No. No, no, we suck a punch. We don't we we need that terror. They're gonna withdraw the Ace Elf, which is fine. What are they gonna go into? Rotom? Rotom comes in. Rotom's gonna take some stealth rock damage, and it's already got damage on it. It's probably specially defensive as well, based on the damage we did earlier. And it is defensive, so we should outspeed it, because we outsped it earlier with our Mama Swine. Should. Should. It's a big should. It's a big should because we're not invested in speed on the hit on top either. So what do we do? I'm actually leaning more towards going into Zoroark again. Because Zoroark doesn't really care about getting burned for a start. So we'll withdraw and we'll go into Zoroark. We're going to big Zoroark. Or Tyranitar as it looks like to them. <laughs> but the health is a big give away away in the fact that we're already burned. will o -Wisp does fail, which is great. If we can get as much damage on this Rotom as possible, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. We need to save our Terra Ghost though. If we can get a Dragon Nance up with Titar, we'll be golden. We will be golden. So I'm going to go for that Night Days once again. Because it still did a lot of damage to who was doing Gudra. So I don't think they'll switch anything in right now. If they withdraw the Rotom. What are they going to go into though? Are they going to go Infinite? Gudra comes in. So Gudra's fine. Gudra's fine. It gets some Stealth Rock chip, which is great. And then we get a Night Days off as long as we don't miss, which is great. That, there we go. We could lower their accuracy, which would also be great. We do. I think he's got a high chance to do that as well. He's got a high chance to do that. So. Life Orb and Burn is going to whittle away us, but it's fine. We can handle this, no problem. We just go for another Night Days. There's no real reason not to. We let them take our Zoroark. I don't really have a switch in other than Sloking, but Sloking can't do anything in return, so it's like pointless. So we go for another Night Days, which is definitely going to do a lot of damage to the Gudra. And then they can finish us off with a Flash Cannon if they want to. There it is. The Flash Cannon comes through. Down goes Zoroark. So that's, that's fine. With Zoroark down, we're in a much better position. I'd say, personally. Because now we can bring in T-Tar. The snow does stop. Not that it matters. Or we can bring Hitmontop in. I'm leaning towards the Hitmontop play. Leaning towards the Hitmontop play. I am going to go with the Hitmontop play. Let me tell you why. Because, basically, I want to just get some damage off on this thing. But I can KO it with Ice Spinner, which means I can't bring his elf in because it'll take too much damage. And the Flamigo. So I'm going to go for the Ice Spinner to KO this thing. I think that's the best way to go about it. And Gudra does go down to that, which is great. So there we go. Gudra fainted. We got the Gudra out of the way. But now, it all comes down to this. Can we pull this off? So they need to, we need them to go into Azelf here. Or Flamigo. Flamigo comes in. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. Um, we do not need Sloking anymore. So instead, I'm going to sack off Sloking to a Brave Bird here. And then I'm going to bring Intimidate, Intimidate him on top back in and go for an Ice Spinner. So there we go. We withdraw him on top. We go into Slow King. Like so. And the Terra Ghost on the T-Tar is what we're banking on here. We're against one of their fighting types, like this thing, for example. So we'll go back into our um, Hit on top. They do get damaged by the Recoil, which is great. We go back into our Hit on top because it's got Intimidate. We really need a good opportunity to do this. So we get the... Oh, the Scrappy. That's good to know. They're good to know. So the Scrappy. Interesting. So I go for a Sucker Punch here. And we try and get as much damage off on this thing as possible. Do we think it's banded though? Then they withdraw the Flamigo. What are they going to go into? Rotom? Rotom comes in. You know what? Rotom's fine. Rotom's fine. Let's get some Stealth Rock damage. We should have gone for a close combat there, but... I mean, I didn't know they were going to switch. I thought they would stay in and take us out of Brave Bird. But I guess that's not the case. <laughs> I guess that's not the case. So, what can we do here? Um, I am going to I am going to close combat. They go for a Pain Split, which is fine. It's not going to get them too much HP back, because Hitmontop isn't exactly the, a bundle of HP. We go for a CC, which does a lot of damage. Great. So, with that damage, I know that the next close combat will take them out if they burn me. If they burn me. Rotom's one of the things we need to take out. To put it that way. So we go for a close combat here. Once again. They go for a discharge. Which should do a lot of damage. But won't take us out. 
And it doesn't paralyze us. So we get the close combat off on the Rotom, which is fantastic. So we've whittled away at them a little bit. Gudra, Kumfei, and Rotom are down. But they have an Infernape, a Flamigo, and a Zelf. And we have a low HP Tyranitar and a, f a low HP hit on top. <laughs> Normally, I'd say, what can we do here? But that Flamigo is flying now, which is awesome. I love it when they do the flying animations. I am going to go for that Sucker Punch real quick just to get some damage off on them. And then I'm hoping they're banded. And that's why they brought that, that's why they switched out. I'm hoping they're banded. Really hoping they're banded. So we Sucker Punch. Does a little bit of damage to the Flamigo. They go for a close combat. I'm really hoping they're banded right now. Because if they're banded, we can go into Tita, Terra Ghost, Dragon Nance. And we may win the game. We may. We may win the game. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into the Tita. I don't think we win the game now. Look at our HP. And Sandstream. If we Terra Ghost, we are going to get damaged by that Sandstream. Is it worth it? So we're going to do it anyway. Going to do it anyway. And the reason I'm going to do it anyway is because I want to just like... I don't see how I can win this. <laughs> I really don't see how I can win this. So we're just going to have to hope and pray that we can do enough damage to make it a closer game. Um, so they go for that close... Scrappy! I forgot about Scrappy. There's someone in the comment section right now. Uh, it already showed you that there was Scrappy earlier on the Flamigo. <laughs> and that makes it so we can hit ghost types with normal fighting type moves. I know. I forgot. Shut up. Leave me alone. That was my whole game plan. And we lost. But anyway, GG Cody. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Did enjoy, of course. Leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.